Have you ever wondered if you're getting what you pay for at the gas pump, especially if you're spending more for premium fuel? One local man did, and he asked the I-team to look into it. And what we found might surprise you. Jeff Sherrod of L.A. says he has a blast driving his high-performance BMW. It's the funnest car I've ever driven. Um, it handles amazing. He takes good care of the car so he doesn't skimp on gas. He uses only premium grade. It's a cup of coffee. If I'm putting $60 in it, what's the big deal if I put $63 in it? But for the past year, Jeff says his car hasn't been running as well as it should. It's a r very rough idle. It's like, duh, 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 like, and it just starts going back and forth. Jeff says he repeatedly took his car to a BMW shop and the text told him the problem was the fuel. The only thing that came up was low, that I was putting low grade fuel in it and I don't do that. Jeff told us he uses the same pump at the same station nearly every time he fills up. So the I-Team turned to the state. My team tests automotive products, including gasoline, diesel, and things like motor oil, transmission fluid. Megan McWain is a scientist with the State Department of Food and Agriculture. It's her team's job to make sure drivers get the quality and quantity of gas they pay for at the pump. McWain says the state randomly tests gas from stations across the state, and it also investigates any complaints it receives. The sample is taken immediately to the laboratory where we test it. McWain tested the fuel from the pump Jeff uses and found that sample passed. Jeff is getting what he's been paying for. But that isn't always the case. Last fiscal year, the state received 139 complaints about gasoline. Drivers saying they didn't receive the grade or quantity they paid for. The state found 23 violations. The year before, the state received 111 complaints and found 35 violations, a 31% failure rate. So far this fiscal year, the state has received 63 complaints and has issued eight violations. People's vehicles are a significant investment in um, in their lives that they make and maintaining those vehicles and getting the most miles out of them is probably important to them. As for Jeff, he's stumped. Then we have to go talk to BMW. But at least he knows he's getting what he pays for. Now, the I-Team reached out to BMW for comment, but we didn't get a response. If you have a concern about a particular gas pump, you can go to our website and we'll show you where you can file a complaint so the state can investigate. Keep in mind there are typically more complaints in the winter because rain can seep into the underground tanks, diluting the gas.